Today, I'm going to be showing you how to put your cams in your cylinder head. This is a, a 2007 Audi A4 2 liter turbo. It's a BWT head to be exact. And this head is fully built. The, the valve train's already in it. I got brand new lifters and rocker arms put on it. So we're going to get started with putting the cams in. So what I recommend you doing is going through with a tap and checking all your tower bolts and cleaning the threads on them. I just recommend you clean all those out, get all your old silicone and blow it all off and have a nice clean surface to work with. So what I'm going to start by doing is putting assembly lube. I'm actually using uh, red lines and I'm using assembly lube just because the head's going to be sitting a little longer and it's a little bit thicker. You can use motor oil as well. And I'm going to put this on all the cam bearings. These are integrated cam bearings. So it is super important to put something on them. You don't want to dry start it. assembly lube on the, the lower bearings I'm gonna go ahead and set the cams in and the one with the little groove for the vacuum pump this is going to be your intake cam and notice how they have a little spline in them for your locking tool I'm gonna try to turn that to the middle as best as I can because when this motor is top dead center these two lobes right here are going to point at each other towards an angle kind of an upward angle so I'm just going to get them set in as close to top dead center just a little easier to turn them before I get the the cradle torqued down All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and put some more assembly lube on the tops of the cams. So once I get everything lubricated where the, the cam bearings are going to ride, I'm going to go ahead and clean up all the assembly lube on the deck of the cylinder head just because I'm putting a new gasket on here, a new silicone gasket, and I don't want the assembly lube to affect the seal of it. So I got all the assembly lube off where my new gasket's going to go, my, my silicone. So now that I got this all cleaned up and I got the cams in and all lubricated, I'm going to go ahead and take my cradle and put silicone on it. Alright, so one thing to keep in mind is you want this really really clean you want to scrape off as much silicone as humanly possible that way you can get a good seal on your cradle what I did is I 
I scraped as much off as I could by hand then I took brake clean and cleaned everything real good that way I had a nice fresh surface to work on the silicone I'm going to be using is Durco Gray buddy at ECS actually re recommended this to me so there's a little engraved line all the way around your cradle and all that needs to have a nice even bead of silicone in it except for one spot this spot right here this engraved spot does not get silicone and I'll put a picture on your screen so you can see a little better the silicone is on the cradle so I'm gonna just go through and double check make sure I didn't get none on my cam bearings just go through and double check all your uh, your tower bolts and make sure all the the holes are nice and cleaned and ready for your your hardware I'm actually using ARP bolts so you have to put the, the assembly lubricant on them if you're using the ARP tower bolts now I'm going to go ahead and set the cradle on the cams I'm going to try to put this on without getting silicone everywhere so I don't want to get silicone in the cam bearings. And it will snap down. There's two little pins that line it up. So when this is actually top dead center these four lobes right here are going to point towards each other like this at an angle they're going to point just like that and you can also tell because these will be perfectly straight up and down where your uh, your head bolts go so now that I got the cradle where it goes I'm going to go ahead and put my hardware in and there is a torque sequence for these I also put that on your screen so you can see the sequence I also show you how to do it go ahead and tighten them all by hand first
Before I go ahead and torque this down, I'm just going to check all my lifters. Make sure none of them popped off a valve when I was moving everything around. And you can just look and they'll be straight on. It, you're not going to be able to torque it down if one of them's not on the valve and you're going to have a major problem. So your little end cap for where your cam positioning sensor goes, this is the time to put it in before you torque it down. So the ARP bolts are going to be 130 inch pounds. If you're using your uh, factory bolts, it's recommended that you replace them because they are a torque to yield bolt. So the sequence for this is there's going to be four bolts on one side, which is going to be the back side of your head where your adjuster housing goes. And there's going to be three bolts on the other side. And the sequence, this is your fifth, your third, and your first row. So you're going to start on this one, and you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, and finish on the side with the adjuster housing. And I'll put that on your screen too, so you can better see. to mention if you're using your uh, your factory bolts those are going to be eight newton meters plus a quarter turn and you can you can mark your bolt and get a quarter turn out of it but I have the cams all in and I have the the cradle torque down so I'm going to spin this thing around and show you guys how to time it so the first thing I'm going to show you is how to count the links in your chain for your timing because not everybody has a cam locking tool but I'm going to show you how to time it if you don't have one. So you notice how there's a gold link on your chain and if you're watching this to change out your, your, your cam uh, tensioner I recommend you replace the chain while you're back there too. I mean, it is a little bit harder while it's on the car because you're working between the firewall. But what you want to do is from your chain, you want to count these pins. So see your gold link? Start counting after your gold link. And you're going to count 18 and 19 pins. And you're going to find those pins and mark them on the opposite side. So you can see I already have mine marked those two right there that's my 18th and my 19th pin so I have my cam adjuster now and if you notice there's a timing mark on your cam adjuster what you want to do is put the gold link right over that timing mark just like so and this is why I told you to mark it on the opposite side so that when you go to put it on your your intake cam you can see your marks your 18th and 19th pin and I'm going to turn this around and show you how to put it on okay so your intake cam's going to have a little timing mark on it. It's just
the little dot and this is where your 18th and 19th pin on your chain is going to go just like your adjuster housing you're going to put the 18th and 19th pin in those but first we got to put on the new tents in her using your old bolts which it's not recommended because they're a torque the yield I'm using my old ones just make sure you put new thread locker on them and there's blue thread locker and this is going to be a T30 Torx put these in The cam tensioner bolts are going to be torqued to 10 newton meters. With the tensioner in place, we're gonna go ahead, double check, make sure our gold link is on, and it is. And we're going to set this on the timing mark on the intake cam. So I have my 18th and 19th pin right on my timing mark on my intake cam see my mark and see my pins now we're going to go ahead and snap the adjuster onto the exhaust cam and they do have a tool for the, the intake cam to turn this to get this to snap in because there's a little pin that has to go in this little groove on the exhaust cam so what you gotta do is try to turn the cam just a tad bit to get it to lock into place and it is difficult I've also I've taken pliers and put it on the, the grooves of the the cams but make sure you do not hit the lobes for your uh, rocker arms So I got the little pin to uh, line up and like I said you got to turn the cams a little bit and what you want to do is you want to try to rotate the exhaust cam counterclockwise a little bit and turn you're going to have to turn the intake cam clockwise quite a bit to get them to line up. but. I know I got them in place and I know I'm, I have them correct because I can set my cam locking tool and there it's square. If you don't have that, you can also take a, a half inch drive extension, stick them down in the little uh, grooves in the cams 
and just double check to make sure they're square. See how that sits in there nice? And like I said, they should both be like this. You should be able to get your extension down in them and they sit square. And notice how the lobes are pointing at each other at kind of an angle. That's how I know it's top dead center. So the last step is putting your your cam adjuster bolt in. Always replace this when you take it out. And this is going to be a 20 newton meters plus a quarter turn on this one. And if you do not have a, a torque angle gauge, what you can do is mark this then mark the head of your torque wrench then use a speed square and put a 45 degree angle on it from the straight mark that you made that way you know you're getting a 45 degree turn and this is actually a special socket and oh, I'll put a link in the description for the socket it's a poly drive socket I got mine from ECS and you just put that one in and you torque it to spec. Please always replace that bolt on the back. And there she is. So I got the cams in and I got them all, I got the two cams aligned to each other and I got it sitting top dead center, ready to, well not ready yet, but gonna be ready. And there is a little bit of slack in my bottom of my chain, but as soon as I go to start the car, and get some oil pressure it it will pull the slack out even though it is on the top but when that when the cams rotate it'll pull the slack out of the bottom of the chain so don't worry about that whatsoever I've done the timing on these multiple multiple times and they have always been like this